making modifications to a Conan Bear body grip style trap. It's coming up. Are you getting refusals when you're using a Conan Bear body grip style trap because the animal doesn't like these trigger sticking in its face when it's trying to go through there. There are some solutions that you can do and they're not too hard to do. First of all, this is a Blyles trap. The thing with theirs is they use a screw to hold their wire trigger on. Remove this screw, take the holder, trigger holder unit off, come down and open up the lock mechanism that holds the jaws open. Open that up, remove this part. What I'm going to use is a pan trigger. Some fellas use the Connie triggers, which fit over the wire trigger unit already on your Connie Bear traps. But when doing that, what I'm finding is the distance from the jaw to here where you would bend your trigger assembly to get the pan, the Connie pans on, is at least a half an inch. Until you make that bend, unless you're, it bends right there, it could be an inch that's up above the kill bar. There's another pan type of unit being made here in the States. You remove your wire and the unit slips into the wire holder here. You put your screw back in and you have your pan. It's simple and easy. Only one problem again. You still lose an inch of jaw, inside jaw dimension. So when you're dealing with these smaller traps, that might be fine on a beaver trap, a 330. But on a 120 like this is, that's an inch that I've lost. With this style of pan trigger, it sits about a quarter inch on the back part. The pan sticks up in the air about a half inch from the other crossbar on the Conor Bear traps. When you install this pan, after you remove the apparatus off of your regular Conor Bear, okay, pretty simple compressor springs when you're Conor Bear. Like I said, these are Blyles, has a screw. Open that up. Move the trigger holder in the trigger as far as the other side found vice grips work the best clamp on there take the screw screw it into that so I don't lose it Take your pan and the holder, it slips over there. Make sure that the pan is down on the bottom side, underside of the bar. You can't close it if it's uh, into against the bar. I just take large pair of pump pliers. That's simple. It's on ready to rock. Right here is a Blyles 120 with the pan on it. This side is the outside. The animal's coming in through this way. 
would hit that pan, sets that trap off. It has nothing hanging down in its face. It's an open shot when they're looking through it. They're seeing nothing. They're seeing an opening that they want to go through. Doesn't matter if you're using these for uh, mink, coon, fisher. It gives them a larger opening to see through back into whatever you, however you have that kind of bear set. If I'm using this in a cubby type set, that animal coming from that side towards me, I'm the back of the cubby looking frontwards. They have a complete open hole. Some animals maybe don't feel a pro have a problem, but if you're having a problem with refusals in a conibear trap, it could be because of these wires hanging down here in its face, and when it hits it, it stops and doesn't trigger and backs away. Not saying it does. I know a lot of a lot of animals have been caught in the trap originally. I just feel that the pan type trigger is a good modification and it helps eliminate something that might be a problem and it might not be a problem. Don't throw the messenger under the bus. I'm just stating some views that I have, my feelings. You might disagree with me, fine and dandy. Use whatever you're comfortable with. But I like these pans. They come out of Canada, so sometimes they're a little hard to find in the States. You might have to get with your local state trappers organization where fellas are going to taking furs up to Canada and be able to pick them up up there. I will put a link in the description of where you can find these online in Canada. They're not that expensive. The expensive part is shipping.